So um, we're going to prove the theorem that um, the distance from any point on the base of an isosceles triangle to the other two sides uh, is the same as the altitude to one of those sides. Now, the sum of the distances. Uh, so here's my isosceles triangle. Now, notice um, because GX web is uh, constraint based, I don't need to make it isosceles from the get go. Uh, I can make it isosceles um, simply by uh, specifying that these two lines are the same. And uh, Uh, here in my triangle is isosceles. I think I'd like to um, increase A a bit. Just to make the altitude sit inside the triangle. Now I'm going to put a point on the base. And I'd like to specify where it is on the base. Um, and not just leave it up to GX Web to decide how to parameterize the drawing. Um, so I'm going to use this uh, parameter, which is the proportional distance um, of D along uh, the line. Now, if I made that a half, it would put it half along, a third, a third of the way along. Um, I'm using T, which is putting it a generic distance along. So now I'm going to look at um, the distance. From D to AB. Uh, we see there it has, has something that involves T in it. Um, I'm going to add that to the distance to be from D to BC. Now we see that that does not involve T. And so it's going to be the same for any location. Um, along the base. Uh, in particular, if t equals zero, that would give us the altitude. Um, we can make that explicit. Distance from A to BC. And we see uh, those are the same. 